I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solutions of questions sent from my subscriber Raymond and I hope Raymond you'll find them useful the question here is show that the line R equals to 3j plus t times i plus j minus k and R equals to 5i plus 8j plus 2k plus s times 3i plus 7j minus k are skew lines. Find the direction vector of the common perpendicular and determine the shortest distance between the two lines. Now let's try to understand this question first. We are given two lines both mentioned here. Let us say these lines lie on the plane of this paper, right? So let's assume that these are the two lines given to us. Let's say one line is here and the other line is on this plane of the paper. So they are going to intersect, correct? For sure, if they are not parallel. Now you can see from their directions that they are not parallel. The direction is 1, 1, minus 1. And here it is not a scalar multiple, right? It's 3, 7. So they are not parallel. So they will definitely intersect. Now let us say these are the two lines. Let's call them lines L1 and lines L2. In that case, if I do a cross product of their directions, right? So, so let us say they have the directions uh, M1 and M2. So if I do cross product M1 cross M2, then that cross product will be normal, right? To this plane of paper, right? So that will give me uh, normal to plane of paper on which these two lines are there. Is it okay? So let us assume that this normal is kind of pointing outwards, right? So, so say let's, it's coming outwards like this. Now, in case these lines are really on this plane, in that case, if I take a set of points, let us say, if I take a set of points here and join them, then the dot product of this normal, because that has to be normal to, to this also, is that okay? That has to be normal to this also. And therefore, the dot product should be zero, right? So what I'm trying to say here is that if I take points P1 and P2 on this, these lines, in that case, the dot product of P1, P2 with the cross product of M1 times M2 should be equal to zero if they are in same plane, right? Is it okay? But how? If they are in parallel planes, then that will not be true. Correct? That will not be true. So the first part of this is, show that the line R equals to 3J plus T times I plus J minus K and R equals to 5I plus 8J plus 2K equals to plus S times this are skew lines. So skew lines basically means they are not in the same plane, rather they are in parallel planes and therefore they will never intersect. Now, if this dot product is zero, that means the distance between the two lines is zero, correct? So they are intersecting lines. They will never intersect if they are in parallel planes or they are skew lines. That's the whole concept. So let's find the normal between these two lines because we will need it as such also to find the shortest distance, right? You know the formulas, correct? So in our first step, we will do what is mentioned here, which is find a direction vector of the common perpendicular. Then we will determine the shortest distance between the two, right? So, so the direction vector, which is, now here you can read, what is M1 cross M2? I mean, M1 cross M2. So we could 
write this as i j k so i'll use matrix and the direction is 1 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 for the second line it's 3 7 minus 1 3 7 minus 1 correct so this is equals to i times 1 times minus 1 which is minus 1 negative of this which makes it positive 7 minus j times so these are unit vectors along x y z right 1 times minus 1 which is minus 1 3 times minus 1 negative of that makes it plus 3 plus k times 1 times 7 minus 3 and that gives me 6i minus this is 2 and that gives me minus 2j And as far as k is concerned, we get plus 4k, right? Plus 4k. Now, that is the direction for the normal. And <laughs> you can actually take two common. And you can write this direction also as, let me write in, in the form. <clears throat> we'll just divide by 2, right? So, I could write this as 3i minus j plus 2k, right? times 2 it doesn't matter so that is your basic normal which we have taken out correct so we got the vector which is normal to both of them so we got this this normal vector is it okay so that's the vector which we have calculated now we'll also find the dot product now so let's find what is p1 p2 So for P1, P2, we can consider the point which is given to us, uh, that is this point, right? For line 1, it is 3J. For line 2, that is the point, correct? So P1 to P2 will 5 minus, will give us 5 minus 0, which is 5, 8 minus 3, which is again 5, and 2 minus 0, which is 2. So that is P1, P2, correct? So let's find what is the dot product of p1 p2 to m1 cross m2 right let's find the dot product of p1 p2 to m1 cross m2 okay so we'll do it right here so we'll now figure out what is p1 p2 dot m1 cross m2 so p1 p2 is 5 5 2 right and m1 cross m2 we just found we can use this one correct so there's no need taking two we can take three minus one two is it okay so that gives you five times three is 15 minus five times minus one and two times two is four plus four correct and this 15 minus four is 10 10 plus four is 14 so definitely this is not equal to zero right so that means we are working with skew lines we can also give the reason since the scalar triple product this is also called scalar triple product right is not equal to zero the lines which we are working with are skew lines is that okay so these are skew lines now we'll go to the next page and then do uh, find the perpendicular distance so i'll copy whatever we have learned here so what we found here was that m1 cross m2 can be written as 3i minus j plus 2k and we also found that p1 p2 uh, is 5, 5, 2. 5, 5, 2. Correct? Now, what do we need to find? So, we have the direction, which is the na normal direction, normal to both the lines. So, we have already found a direction vector, which is common perpendicular to both of them, right? Now, we need to find the shortest distance. We need to find shortest distance. Now, for skew lines, the shortest distance is, is equals to absolute value of distance always absolute value. So you have to take projection of this on the normal, right? So that is 
dot divided by the magnitude of normal, right? So basically the concept here is that, let's say these are now the skew lines, right? These are, these are the skew lines. So we have already taken uh, points P1 and P2. Let's say this is P1 and this is P2. The normal is, is let us say, that is the normal to both the lines. So that is the normal. So if I take the projection of this all along the normal, then I get the shortest distance, correct? So shortest distance is projection of P1, P2 on the normal. That's what it is, correct? So this is equal to, uh, this we already calculated, but let me rewrite this. We have 5, 5, 2 dot values 3 minus 1, 2, right? Divided by the magnitude of n, which is square root of 3 square. So you have to take unit vector. That's the whole idea, right? Plus 2 square. You can write minus 1 whole square, but that also makes it positive. So we are looking into this value. Correct? So we found that the numerator is 14. Correct? We found numerator is 14. Let me rewrite this. 5 times 3, 15. Minus 5 times minus 1. And 2 times 2 is plus 4. And the denominator here is square root of 3 square 9 plus 1 10 plus uh, uh, plus 4 right so let me write down here 9 plus 1 uh, plus 4 which is uh, 14 over 10 square root 14 right so that gives me square root 14 as the distance between the two lines right so that is the shortest distance between the two lines. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. So in first part, we actually showed that scalar triple product is not equal to zero, right? If it was zero, then they would have intersected and distance was zero, correct? Since scalar triple product is not equal to zero, they are scalar lines. Once they are scalar lines, we just take a point on each and find its projection on the normal between the two to get the shortest distance between the two lines. I hope you find it useful. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos, and if you like, that would be great. Thanks and all the best.